Meanwhile, Republican senators are racing against the clock on their own on health care, and today they promise to release their bill on Thursday. The goal is to produce and vote on a health care bill before Congress leaves for its traditional July 4th recess. Kayla Tauji reports now on the progress and the sticking points. After weeks of behind the scenes deal making, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell will take the wraps off health care. We're going to lay out a discussion draft Thursday morning. You'll be able to take a take a look at it. I think you've uh, heard from some of my colleagues uh, the likely highlights of it. And uh, I wouldn't want to compare it to the House bill. It'll speak for itself. They have to worry the privacy of the negotiations now providing fuel for Democrats. I don't know what's in the bill. Our colleagues who are working in secret right now seem to have a disturbing lack of interest in transparency. Republicans can only lose two votes. Even lawmakers involved in the talks, like Not. Senator Ted Cruz, say there's still a lot of work to do. The party's priorities vary widely. Some, like Cruz, insist on lowering premiums. Others worry most about excluding large numbers of Americans with pre-existing conditions. Lawmakers from states that expanded Medicaid want to make sure cuts to that program won't cause the number of uninsured to skyrocket. The plan reportedly proposes deeper spending cuts to Medicaid, but defers the end of the expansion to 2025. Governors like Colorado's John Hickenlooper have been pressing senators to consider their views. You know, in the end, the governors are the ones who have to, to implement this stuff. And certainly the House bill, almost every governor thought it was a ter terrible idea. The president previously praised that bill. This is a great plan. But has since said privately the Senate's version needs to be more generous. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer says the president has been involved in the negotiations with the Senate leadership, but didn't know whether he had seen any portions of the bill just yet. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tauschi, Washington.